Alrighty, welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is my 100% walkthrough for Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8. I really can't decide what I want to call it. You guys let me know down in the comments below. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, I want to tell you what this is all about. This is a real 100% walkthrough. I'm going to show you how to get all of the trophies or achievements uh, for Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8. We're going to need three playthroughs at this stage, I believe. Now, this first playthrough that you're about to watch part one of, we are going for all the collectibles. That means we're getting all the goats, all the files, all the guns and the parts for the guns, all the crafting items and recipes, all of the outhouses, all of the windows in the castle, and all of the maps. We're also going to get a, f a whole bunch of missable achievements uh, during this playthrough. We're going to be playing this playthrough on casual difficulty so that we can wrap all that up as neatly as possible. Uh, our second playthrough is going to be a knife-only speed run of the game where we don't heal and we don't spend... Uh, I don't think I'll spend any money at all during that playthrough, actually. So look forward to the second playthrough. And the third playthrough, we're going to beat the game on the hardest difficulty uh, but we're probably going to have some fun with some infinite ammo on the third playthrough. Getting all that done will grab us all of the achievements uh, in the base game. Uh, I'm going to be playing it. I did pre-order the game, but I'm going to be playing it without any of the extra items and things like that that pre-orders give you. So that no matter when you're playing and following along, uh, it should be easy to follow, guys. Uh, other things to note before we start, and I know this is a long intro, but I want you guys to know what we're in for. Uh, other things to note... Uh, is that some of the loot is random. Some of the coins that I pick up, the amounts will be random. The loot that enemies drop will be random. Uh, the loot in boxes and things that you smash is random. So some of those things might not match. Uh, I'll do the best I can to give you guys other options if you don't have the loot that I have. Uh, but it should be fairly simple to follow on no matter what. All right, let's not wait. I am so excited. By oh, that is the other thing to note. I'm going to be enjoying the story, uh, but I won't be reading all the files and notes. I'll just let you pause the video if you want to read all those. But I'm going to enjoy the story along with the ride on the first playthrough. The other two playthroughs will probably be skipping cutscenes and all of that. Uh, but let's enjoy this first one. I can't wait. Let's go. And here we go into new game and on casual difficulty. Long ago... A young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as a wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Well, that was interesting. Gifts we gave, but more you took. Ah, here we go. 
So more in turn was due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Not really a great story for a kid, I'd say, or a baby even. She's asleep. Yeah, you scared her to death. A story. She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> moved her so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Whoa, snappy. I'm paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh, we have other things to do before we do that. Well, I'll finish mostly one thing to do before we do that. No, two things, actually. All right, when we get control here, guys, we're getting the first collectible of the game. It is file number one. There are 47 files. It doesn't want to remember. Let's go grab the first one. Right. Set. Now, uh, as soon as we've got control of Ethan, we go straight into the kitchen to the fridge. Now, this one I don't believe counts as a collectible. The first thing on the fridge, this photo. But I will have a quick look at it. Because I do notice that once we do that, it ends up in our inventory. Maybe there'll be more about that later. I can't spoil anything. Uh, anyway, so make sure you look at that. They will be here before we know it. They grow up fast. And then we grab H. Mia, I'm trying to tell everyone where this first collectible is. Grab file number one. The uh, memo thingamajiggy on the fridge. Grab that file number one of 47. Now from here, guys, we're going to go and get collectible number two. It is file number two of 47. Uh, now, if you do find this video helpful, guys, please consider supporting me over on Patreon, where you can become a member of Aussie's Army for just one dollar. Like Link is in the video description. Looks too scary for you. And please come and see me play games just like this. We did stream this earlier over on Twitch as well. Check out my Twitch channel. That's uh, that is free. Unless you choose to subscribe there as well. But yeah, I thought I'd get those plugs out of the way nice and early so we can get on with the game. At the top of the stairs, take a U-turn around to the left and head into this spare room here. Head over to the dresser over here and pick up file number two of 47. Pause the video if you want to have a read of that. Head back out of the room the way we came. Uh, you can look at a cool little Easter egg here. The bobblehead. I should get rid of it someday. Back to the top of the stairs, and this time we're going to take a left down the hall. You can also interact with this music machine here if you want to. Almost and once you've done that, head down into the bedroom. And we're going to get a missable achievement here. What we need to do is avoid that ball first and put the baby down. Much easier once we've done that. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Now what you want to do is head around the ball because we need to maneuver this ball. Okay, and what we're going to do with the ball is we need to get it into that room over there by walking into it and sort of semi-kicking it, I guess you would call it. Uh, and you can get it stuck over in that corner over there. If you do get it stuck over there, unfortunately, you're going to have to reload the game. Um, reload your save. Did I get it? Oh, oh, here we go. Make sure you get sort of to the left here so it doesn't go in that corner. As soon as it goes in, there we go. There's the achievement called uh, Goal. We got it. Make sure you do that, guys. Get, get that achievement. Now, something very, very important to note. If you do fail... Uh, and you have to reload the game, you'll end up back downstairs with the baby. Make sure you get those two files that we've already got uh, on your way back to try the ball again, uh, because you can't get them when you go back down and they don't automatically carry over from what I can tell. Uh, post a comment if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they don't carry over. Anyway, uh, next, next file, the next collectible guys, we've got another file already. File number three is on the laptop. So make sure you read uh, this, these notes by Ethan. Pause the video again. And file number four is in this drawer. So two more collectibles, number three and number four out of 47 files. So make sure you grab that as well. Rose is fine. 
And that should be all of the collectibles or achievements in the, uh, the Winter's house. And now we can head back downstairs to the kitchen. And to Mia. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. Oh, careful! You could have burnt me. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana. If like, only. Chris moving us here. The military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Uh-oh. Mia, get down. Yeah, why didn't she get down? Seriously, just stand there. Why would you just stand there? Oh, I don't know why I just stood there. Why didn't we grab her and jump on the floor? That's what I would have done. Easy for me to say. Mia, oh God. Chris, what the hell? Sorry. Chris Redfield, no. eh? Jeepers. Why? That's brutal. It's not a dream either, guys. I do know that much. Well, I think I know that much. First time I saw that, I thought it was Whoa, a move. dream scene. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Oh, Ethan. Rose. At least he's still got both his hands, unlike the start of uh, RE7, am I right? Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? <laughs> Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan. You matter. Don't yell with the baby there. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Can someone post a comment and tell me what Ethan's work is in uh, in now that they're in Europe? That was a little bit of a dream, obviously. Or maybe a flashback. The second part, not the first part, where Mia got shot. As far as I know, so far. Uh, dead is his status. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off my wall. Fuck. What 
What the hell happened to you? I'd say we crashed. That's what I'd say. Now, guys, once you're back in control here, uh, you could look at this phone just to find out that it's apparently useless. Or you could look at this next file. File number five of 47, guys. The uh, mission objectives here. Have a quick read of that. And now we're going to follow the only path that we can. Up into the darkness. I wonder if we're going to find out what actually happened to the car on the road, like how we ended up down there, because that, that is something I am wondering. Don't spoil that in the comments. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out later. Great, now that I've said that, do you think we'll get someone spoiling it in the comments? I'll wait and see. But yeah, here we just uh, got to, I was reading my notes there and trying to walk at the same time. Just got to follow the only path. Uh, sometimes you can get, it can be a bit hard to see where you're meant to go. And Ethan is obviously cold. Uh, when you get to the barbed wire here, you've got to duck under by clicking the right thumbstick, or at least that is on Xbox, right thumbstick. I'm sure it's the same on PlayStation. Don't ask me for uh, PC controls though. Oh, stand up. <laughs> the game was reminding me I could stand back up. What if I want to crouch around? Uh, up to the right here. Or oh, once you see these uh, dead birds, you know you're going the right way. More dead birds. Keep going. Yep, through the dead birds. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going. Ah! Ah! Ho, ho, ho. And we're going to drop down here. Calm down, mate. Calm down. We're gone. We're gone. I don't think it's me they're worried about, actually. <laughs> Alright, keep going. Yeah, even when you see that, keep going. Cross the bridge here. Nothing, uh, nothing to loot that I could find out here, so we're just going to head straight into this building here, through this door. Once again, nothing to loot up here, even if you look in here. Don't know why I opened that, just to show you. I guess I always open that. Uh, you can turn the sink on or whatever. Interact with whatever you want to interact with, but there's no loot that I could find. Uh, even in there and what you want to do is find this door and head down to the basement Hi guys Wait, did I miss someone? Oh, g'day mate. All right head down All the way to the end of this little passageway Take a right and head to the end of here. I think it's uh, right again. Is it? Yeah, find this uh, this dresser or cupboard Whatever you want to call it with the blood on it. Make sure you open that up what are we going to find? Ah! It's a mouse or a rat. What do you reckon? Was that a mouse or a rat? Uh, okay, then turn around and go back upstairs. I forgot about that, but yeah. Once you've opened that cupboard, it seems to trigger all of that. And you can go back upstairs. See, there's a big mess here, but we can go underneath. So crouch again and crawl in the blood. Yay! Crawling in the blood. Who did all this? Yeah, I wouldn't be following it, but apparently that's the only way we've got to go, guys. So head out the uh, the giant hole in the wall and then straight over this fence just by walking. You know, uh, Ethan will automatically climb over the fence. And then once again, we're following the only path available. Ethan will climb this automatically. Go straight. We're going to get a cool view here. Where the hell am I? Check it out. Check it out. Yes, there is an achievement 
for shooting down five crows. Don't worry, I'll show you exactly where we can uh, do that later in the game, guys. We don't even have a gun yet, so we can't do it yet. Drop down here. And slide down here. Now, here is the first point that you can open your map. Uh, you should also be able to press, uh, that's with the what I call the back button. You should also be able to press the Y button, open up your inventory. And we're actually got, we just automatically got two collectibles and that is two crafting recipes. We've got the first aid med recipe and we have the handgun and ammo recipe. So that's recipes one and two out of 11 different recipes we need to grab for another achievement, guys. And from here, we want to go past the uh, the poor unfortunate horse. Don't look, don't look, especially if you're squeamish. Uh, and what I want to do first is I want to go inside this door on the right. Now, there's only one thing in here that we can't actually get yet. Maybe, maybe Let me remember where it, yeah, this, this draw here. But what I want to do is just uh, examine it. It says it's an easy to pick lock. And it just shows up on the map. Uh, in case we want to come back to it later, I haven't actually decided if we're coming back to it later on in the walkthrough. But just in case, it just shows different things on the map. Once you've done that, you can uh, look around further if you like. But we're going to head out here into this other door. Uh, take a right and head all the way through this building and out the door at the end. And we're going to get our next collectible. And this is for opening it, uh, how many outhouses? 10 outhouses we have to open. This is number one of 10. Head over to this. Open it up, and that's all you have to do is open it up. I'll show you where we are on the map. That is outhouse one out of 10. Okay, turn around from that. We're gonna head uh, past this well that we can't use yet and head up these little stairs here and take a left. No loot over there. Head all the way down this path. You can uh, sprint a little bit faster as well. All the way to the end of this path and take a right. Ethan's getting tired already. Past the uh, goat heads. What happened? Yeah, I don't want to know. I don't think we want to know, Ethan. You can check out the sign if you want. Uh, we're going to go left again. And we want to head to this door over here with the uh, the flame outside, the fire. We want to head inside and go straight to the back and grab our first weapon, the knife. Make sure you get that. And then let's uh, let's test it out straight away by turning around, finding this box and seeing what we get. Now, I do believe, I think that's the fourth time I've done this and every time I got a first aid med from that particular box. But there are definitely random items in boxes. Okay, from here, I don't think, was it out there? No, there's a, yeah, it is. Okay, continue through. Oh, yeah, to this curtain over here. No loot to worry about. Just uh, interact here. Whoa! Who are you? That was definitely a bit of a jump scare the first time as well. It was an accident down the road. Almost then too, I think. What's going on? Why did you shoot, mate? Why did you open fire? Silly. Silly. Oh, no. Yeah, because you let off a shot. Coming. Who is? Don't blame me. What's that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Well, we do now. Take it. Take it. Oh, Ethan knows his way around a gun in there. Oh yeah, yeah. RE7 might have helped. Hey, are you listening? Hey! Oh. Uh, drop. He didn't drop his gun. Yeah. What the? What the? Uh oh. Yeah. Dead body. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, he might be sleeping. There's more. Yeah, this is not cool. 
How are we the only ones that ended up alive down here? Anyway, we're going to head around here and interact with this guy for some reason. Let me go. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I had to open my big mouth, didn't I? Oh, crap. Poor Ethan. Poor... Oh, that's so gross. Poor Ethan. Now, what you want to do here, guys, is hold on the LB button, or L1, I believe it's called. And when he grabs you like that, tap the LB button. There we go, first try. Tap the LB button when he grabs you like that, and you'll uh, push and shove him, and we'll get the push and shove achievement. It is a missable achievement, guys. Uh, the only way I know to do it is to, like, hold on the block button, and then as soon as he grabs you, start tapping LB. Only way I know of. Okay, the other thing we're going to do is not waste our bullets. We're going to let him do that again. And instead of tapping LB this time, we are going to slash at him. Now, you don't have to let go of LB when you want to slash. Okay. So just slash at him. Usually only once. Definitely twice after he grabs at you. But don't get greedy with the slashing. This is how we're going to beat this guy. Could we just shoot him and be done with it? Yes, we could. But I wanted to show this method. Oops. Oops, I got greedy. I got greedy. I wasn't focusing while I was trying to chat to you guys. Uh, but this is just a method I've been practicing uh, for my knife only run and stuff like that. But uh, there we go. Take care of him. Alright, once you've dealt with him, we actually do want to come in here. Uh, I think it was this building. Uh, and we want to grab the bolt cutters from right there. I don't normally fight him all the way inside, so I was a little bit lost for a second. But yeah, grab the bolt cutters from in there. But before we use them, we're not going over there. We're going over here. Going to grab some loot from inside here. Uh, another thing we'll show is that the building we just came out of is now blue on the map, meaning that we have searched, uh, completed our search of that building. We've got all the loot. This one is currently red. I uh, don't think there's anything hidden in here that we can't get yet. So let's grab the two bits of loot. That usually is chem fluid. And over here should be a green herb, or a green herb for you Americans. And now it's blue on the map, meaning we've got all of the loot. Once you've got all that sorted, two blue buildings head outside. And we're going to use the bolt cutters on the door here. With that open, head straight across. We're going to go straight into this building across here. Where someone just got dragged away. Uh, that doesn't matter at all, does it? Just head straight inside. Uh, you can turn off the radio. Grab the ammo near the window over here. Uh, and then we want to barricade, <laughs> barricade the door. And then we can head upstairs. Don't worry about that. Up we go. Grab the two bits of loot. The ammo here. Ooh, and the chem there. And now the, uh, the building is going to get sort of attacked. And we just have to survive. Now that was just a body falling there. I usually walk down here. And by the time I uh, get down here and then turn around. There's an enemy inside. You can uh, slash this guy to get him away from the window usually. But there's going to be an enemy here, so we're going to hold, block, and we're going to deal with this guy. Just don't get greedy like I did last time. Oh, that was a good one. Oi! Oi! I was blocking. That can't get me. Yeah, that's right. Block, 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 block. Watch out. Watch out. He's nearly done, I reckon. 
Are you done? I hope no one's behind me. I don't think anyone else gets in usually. Alright, so once you see loot drop, you know he's dead. You don't have to worry. And then pretty much after the, you take out him, it's all over. Is it over? And there's actually a checkpoint as soon as it's over, guys. And he says that. Is it over? That's a checkpoint. You go to this radio. You get a little message. Survivors? Okay, that's the end of the message. We're going to move the barricade so we can get out. Oh, your hand, Ethan. That's so bad. All right, out we go. Head straight to the left and left again and around the back. Now, I always unlock this. This, I'm not sure if we need to unlock yet, but uh, I always unlock it now, guys. So, uh... If you're following along, may as well do what I do. Then you can head over here to this box. You are in a little bit of a hurry now, okay? So grab that ammo, head upstairs. Head around here. We're going to get our next weapon. This is weapon number three. Uh, but first, we're going to grab Green Herb there. We're going to head over here, open this drawer. Grab that ammo. Grab the gunpowder. And then grab the shotgun from here. Okay. Make sure you've got our third weapon, the shotgun. And then head inside here, there'll be two lots of loot. Gunpowder there for me. I'm not sure if these are all the same, these ones. And bullets there. And then head down the ladder. Uh, once we're down here, there's going to be some loot pretty much straight over here on the floor. Rusted scrap. Follow the path. Don't worry about the enemies. And before you go out that hole, go around here. I'm going to equip my knife. It's just easier to see. And grab some more rusted scrap down there. That's usually the same as well. Then what we're going to do is run. Once we're out of there, run up here to the right-hand side of the building. All the way around the building. Around the corner and inside. There's going to be two lots of loot. There's going to be shotgun shells here. Now, I didn't get followed, did I? And a box here. And then we're going to go up the ladder. I usually get those shotgun shells later, actually. Just do the box and go up the ladder if you want, if you're worried. Okay, once we're up here, guys, all we have to do now is survive. I think it's a set amount of time. I'm not really, really sure exactly what triggers the next bit, but uh, just we're going to survive as long as we can with our block and slash method to save as much ammo as possible. Uh-oh, I was blocking. I didn't think that was possible while I'm blocking. But I'm not paying full attention while I'm trying to commentate, so... Just be, be patient, no, be patient. Oh, did I just fall? I've never fallen off there before. Alright, well, I'm okay, I'm okay, just survive. Try and stay up on the roof. We're on the uh, second part of the roof now, I think. Should be okay, though. Oh, I splashed at the wrong time then. But hopefully you're doing a little bit better than me. I would like to get some loot off one or two of these guys as well. Luckily only one of them seems to attack me at a time, which is great. There we go, we took out one, we got some loot. I shouldn't have struck that one until he got me. Alright, so now I'm going to have to be really, really patient. Don't heal, don't heal. I mean, I guess you could, but uh, we're not doing the no heals run. Okay, we're taking out another one. Now, can I get back up there or not? See, look at what he's talking about. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. Yep, guard, guard, guard. Now, I've always taken out at least three of them before I've had to go down, and uh, the uh, there's a cutscene that happens when we've... Uh, when we're getting attacked, but we've lasted long enough. So, maybe it is after I take down this third guy. I'm not sure yet. Come here, mate. So, I'm going to take down at least this guy before I start getting impatient. Oh, we've got a few up here now. Okay. Okay, we're getting overwhelmed here. We're doing alright, though. Uh-oh. Okay, this might be it. No, that wasn't it. We're okay, we're okay. 
Don't let him grab you now, though, when your health is this low. It will replenish a tiny bit on its own. Not completely, though. Come on, I want to take one more. I want a little bit more loot. Oh, come on, die, mate. You know you want it. Oh, that was good. There we go, we got some loot there. Did I pick it up? I'm not sure if I picked it up. I'm going to try and step forward. No, I didn't pick it up yet. Give me it, give me it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, get his as well. I'm pretty sure we can uh, lose now, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to keep slashing. There we go. We got caught from back, from the back. And there we go. We're in the scene. There we go. Hope that makes sense, guys. Just survive up there, blocking and slashing. If you want to use your guns and all that, go for it. But I noticed that I lo lost a lot of ammo doing that. Uh oh. Now, there is also an achievement for killing this guy before this cutscene, guys. That's going to be covered in a future video. Um, we're not going to do it as part of this playthrough. But it is going to be covered in the walkthrough. I haven't decided yet whether we're doing it on the hardest difficulty, by the way. Okay. They're leaving. What were they scared of? What were they scared of? So yeah, don't worry about that achievement. We're going to get that later. I'm not sure if it's even possible to kill him uh, with the weapons we've got right now. Poor Ethan. Poor Ethan. Harvey's hand bitten off. An arrow in the leg. Insert Skyrim reference here. Alright, but uh, before we go follow that lady, we need to go in that red house. It's uh, We haven't got all the loot out of there. Uh, now, normally I go back in and get the shotgun shells, but as you saw, I sort of uh, freaked out and grabbed them already. Anyway, but head inside. There should be a green herb around here. There it is. I don't like to waste time picking up all this stuff uh, while we're running for our lives and heading up that ladder. But uh, also there would be the shotgun shells just here if you didn't already get them. All right, now head back out. And we're going to follow that uh, where that strange lady went. Up past this red barrel. I'm tipping maybe using that red barrel as a way to take down the big guy, but uh, we didn't want to find out about that just yet. Head in here. And in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. Oi. The child's father. Yep, yep, child? that's us. Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She I feel like she likes Rose. Uh oh. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? Uh oh. The We're going to the castle. Danger. They're coming. <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> again? They all left, I think. Rose is here? Rose is here? Okay, when we're back in control, turn around, head into this building here. We're going to go for the next collectible. This is file number seven. Uh, before I grab that, I'm going to grab the loot on the little bench here. And we're going to grab file number seven right here in the corner. I'll show you on the map where we are. Hang on. Is that better? That's where file number seven is. Make sure you pick up that. Pause the video if you want to have a read. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here, at least not now. Is it blue? No, it's red. 
Let me just see if I can remember why. There's a lockpick thing in here, I think. Not there, over here, over here. Lockpick, yep, lockpick. See, we can't get in there yet. That's why it's gonna stay red. Head back outside, out this gate, and out to this area, you wanna find the tractor. There it is, over in the background. Head over to the tractor. There's some loot on the back of the tractor. Grab that. Now we're gonna get collectible file number seven and goat number one of 20. Goats, I guess, are like the bobbleheads from the previous game, guys, where we had to destroy bobbleheads. This time we have to destroy goat statues. Now, I didn't find out until I'd already uh, broken this one, but there's normally a goat statue right there. And even if you load up a new game, a new save, different save files, all of that, the goat stays gone, unlike the files. So that's goat number one in that location. Just use your knife or shoot it. Uh, and you can read this here. This actually counts as file number seven out of 47. So make sure you read that as well or interact with it. Guess you don't actually have to read it. All right, let's go grab our second goat. Uh, more about that door over there a little bit later. When, when you see it though, head to your right, find this gate here, grab a gun, preferably the pistol, and look up on top of the church over there and shoot goat number two. Goat number two out of 20. Now, can you shoot things like that? Uh, and the, the other things, there's some story things that you need to shoot in the game and still get the achievement uh, for beating the game knife only. Yes, you can is what I'm hearing. Have not completely tested it myself yet. Uh, the game's only been out for a day, so I haven't had time and I am not one of the lucky ones who gets early copies. But once you have got that goat, guys, head inside the church pick up this crest here. That was for the door that I was just showing you a minute ago. Just grab that. You don't need to worry about it taking up inventory space, as you can see there. Only our guns, weapons, and first aid, uh, sorry, weapons, bullets, and first aid items have taken up any inventory space. Not even our crafting materials take up inventory space. So that's interesting. Anyway, back out of there. You can have a look at this here. This does not count as a collectible or a map or a file or any of those things, but you can have a look at it. Uh, can't take it with us, you can only put it back down. Uh, the other thing we can get while we're here is turn around. So looking at where we got the crest, facing the same way, this picture here, you'll see something shining. You can shoot at it and a little uh, crystal will drop from there. So you can grab that as well. We can sell that later. That's part of the treasure. And here is our first typewriter, our first save point. We don't need ink ribbons or anything like that. We're gonna save the game here, guys. And that is going to be the end of the first part of my walkthrough for this game. I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all the support we're getting on the channel. As I post this, we are getting super close, super close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't, haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, post a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, obviously, join me over on Discord, Twitch, or Patreon as well. Love seeing the Aussie Army over in those places. There's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.